guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anna if you're new here I do makeup reviews makeup tutorials skincare anything beauty related I got you covered today's video we are going to talk about an extremely hyped up product um, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand I have the very very extremely popular shade Pinkasm um, so in this video, we are going to talk about the product, we are going to talk about packaging, we are going to do swatches, we're going to apply it and see what the hype is. Now, for starters, this product does retail for $40. That is a lot of money for blush, um, but then again, I did spend $50 on a Chanel blush. So, uh, curiosity got the best of me. This product keeps selling out. This shade keeps selling out. They recently restocked it, and it's already sold out. Like, they restocked it a week ago because I bought it from her website. So, this is the packaging. Very cute. It's got, like, a holographic finish. It's foil stamped. Um, I don't know if you know what that means. My husband is in uh, fin uh, graphic finishing, so he does foil stamping. He makes boxes, pocket folders, and stuff like that. So, in other words, the packaging here is, is very pretty, and, and it's not cheap. All right. This is the product. Like I mentioned, I have Pink Gasm. That shade specifically is the one that sells out, I think, the fastest. So now, the Charlotte Tilbury packaging of the actual blush is not my favorite. I have the Beauty Wand, uh, the, the Contour Wand, and I have the Spotlight Wand. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's messy. I You would think that by now, you know, with people complaining about the packaging, they would have changed it, but... It is what it is. So now with this product, you have a little thing here. I don't know if you could see it, where it says off, on, and you have to turn it so the little <clears throat> triangle will line up. So right now it's lined up to off. I'm gonna turn it. Now it's on, it opens. So now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. This product, you're gonna squeeze it. Do not squeeze it too hard because you're gonna get way too much product. You're going to squeeze it very gently. See, like, you can already see the product coming out. And then I think I would just lock it at that point. Otherwise, it's going to get everywhere. So we're going to swatch it. That is the color. It's pretty. You could see that it is reflective. You can blend it out and kind of shear it down. I'm going to open it up just a little bit. Now, with this product, you can just work off of the face so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna close it so it doesn't get messy so I'm just gonna blend it is lightweight it's almost like a gel formula oh that's very pretty I'm gonna add a little bit more So this is not a blue-based pink. It's almost like a peachy pink, to be honest. Let me actually give you a heavier swatch so you could see on my hand. Can you see that? To me, that that's kind of like a metallic peachy, peachy pink. Very pretty, very, very dewy, glowy. Let's go on this side. So I would say it's pretty easy to use as long as you don't squeeze out too much product. It is pretty. Okay, so let me gather my thoughts. I think the color is beautiful. I would say it's pretty universal because it's not a blue-based pink. It's a warm pink. It has um, some gold in it. And it's like a, like I said, it's like a peachy pink, warm, pinky tone. So it's going to work really nice on somebody who's very fair, somebody who's a deeper skin tone. On me, it, it works very pretty. I like it. Let me pull you in a little bit. 
and I don't see that it's emphasizing any texture. It's just giving me a nice warm pinky glow. So very pretty. Um, is it worth $40? Um, if you want to try something from Charlotte Tilbury and like you're kind of like your heart is set on it, go for it. Uh, but honestly, honestly, I definitely think that like, I think I could dupe this and I'm going to dupe it. I'm going to find a way to dupe it for you guys. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. I think it's beautiful. I think it's easy to use, easy to blend out. Like I said, use it the way I'm telling you. I'll use a little bit at a time. Tap, tap, tap and then blend it out. It blends very easy, seamless. So if you're um, looking for a blush that is beginner friendly, I definitely think this is somewhere that you can start off. Um, I'm not saying that the price point is not worth it or it's not worth the price point. I think it is, but like I said, I think you can definitely find something similar, more affordable. So we will look for that together. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. I will buy it and try it out to compare. Um, but I think it's beautiful. I can definitely see why it's so popular and why it's selling out. I love that this actually works on most skin tones or all skin tones because of the color. Now, I can't vouch for all the other colors because I only have this one. Um, but I think it's nice. I think I like it. I can definitely see why it's overhyped. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.